Good evening, everybody. We gather in absolutely unprecedented numbers, and I apologize for folks who are uh, in the gymnasium and who are down the stairwell. This is an unbelievable show of solidarity. And I think it's because we gather with broken hearts and horror. We gather in utter dismay and disgust. A pogrom took place in Israel. Hamas terrorists, disgustingly glorified on the streets of our nation's capital yesterday, slaughtered young people at an outdoor peace festival. They murdered civilians in their private homes, ripped sleeping children from their beds, indiscriminately shot and defiled civilians, and dragged young and old to the Gaza Strip as captives. Saturday has been called Israel's 9-11, her Pearl Harbor. And it is harrowing to see the pleas of families desperate for information, any information about their missing loved ones. A modern day pogrom took place in Israel on Shabbat, on Simchas Torah, on what should have been a joyous day. What is unfolding in Israel is the nightmare of all nightmare scenarios. And so tonight, we gather in grief, solidarity, and Jewish peoplehood. Let us begin with a moment of silence for the now more than 900 murdered, the over 2,100 injured, and the approximately 130 civilians and soldiers in captivity. Thank you. We are extraordinarily grateful to be standing here in unity with political leadership from all orders of government and across the political spectrum. We are deeply honored that the Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau, and official leader of the opposition, Pierre Polyev, are here tonight. Israel's ambassador designate to Canada, Ido Moed, we extend to you our heartfelt sympathies and our extraordinary gestures of solidarity. We are grateful to his worship, Mayor Mark Sutcliffe, local MPPs, local MPs, Chief of Police Eric Stubbs, city councillors, and Ottawa Carleton District School Board trustees. I thank you all for coming. It is so incredibly meaningful to us. Thank you as well to our many allies from other ethnic and religious communities and senior representatives from countries around the world, including Ukraine. We are grateful for your friendship and support. It is now my absolute honor to invite the Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau, to offer remarks. Good evening, everyone. It is so important to see so many people gathering tonight here and in vigils like it across the country. The chef de l'opposition officielle, Pierre, merci d'être ici ce soir. The maire d'Ottawa, Mark Sutcliffe, les leaders communautaires, tout le monde ici ce soir. C'est important de se rassembler pour montrer notre solidarité envers nos amis israéliens 
durant ces moments incroyablement difficiles. First, let me begin by being absolutely clear. Canada, unequivocally and in the strongest possible terms, condemns these terrorist attacks perpetrated by Hamas. We stand with Israel and reaffirm our support for Israel's right to defend itself in accordance with international law. Le Canada condamne sans équivoque les attaques terroristes commises par le Hamas. On est solidaire d'Israël et on réitère notre appui au droit d'Israël de se défendre conformément au droit international. The attacks this weekend were brutal and horrific. We heard stories of people who were there at the music festival for peace when gunmen started shooting. We saw images of parents shielding their children to protect them from rockets. Women and kids have been forced out of their homes and kidnapped. The images and the imagining what it must have been. In the middle of the night, as doors were kicked in, people ripped from their beds. It's unimaginable. We know that even Holocaust, Holocaust survivors were kidnapped. The indiscriminate killing of civilians, the sexual violence, the violence against women, children, and elderly people, these acts are sickening and completely unimaginable. On demande la libération immédiate des otages et on exige qu'ils soient traités conformément au droit international. La violence envers la population civile n'est jamais acceptable. The glorification of death and violence and terror has no place anywhere, including and especially here in Canada. So let me be very clear. Hamas terrorists aren't a resistance. They're not freedom fighters. They are terrorists. And no one in Canada should be supporting them, much less celebrating them. Thank everyone coming out across the country to show their support. Just a few weeks ago, I was in Toronto to celebrate Rosh Hashanah. We talked about all the uncertainty in the world right now. We talked about the importance of being there for one another. We talked about the examples of Jewish Canadians embodying the concept of tikkun olam, the commitment to make the world a better place, healing the world. We talked about our hopes for a better year better future. Oh, what happened this weekend during a Jewish holiday on Shabbat it was the opposite of hope. It was dark, abhorrent, and heinous. Nearly every Jewish Canadian has friends or family in Israel. Les députés, les membres de notre gouvernement et de nos équipes qui sont de confession juive, tout comme Tellement d'entre vous ici ce soir, vous avez de la famille et des amis en Israël. Les liens au sein de cette communauté sont justement ce qui la rend aussi forte et incroyable. The interconnectedness of this community is what makes it so strong and incredible, but it is also what makes it so difficult right now. You're feeling so close yet so far away. You're talking to relatives, you're scrolling social media, you want to be able to help directly. Well, my friends, you are not alone. Canadians stand with the Jewish community, Canadians stand with Israel, and we stand ready to support the Israeli people. There is a Hebrew proverb that says that the community is Israel's rampart. That's true in so many ways. 
I saw a tweet earlier from Sija that showed volunteers in Tel Aviv packaging food, clothing, and aid for the victims. Ici, au pays, les communautés juives se mobilisent pour recueillir des fonds pour aider les Israéliens. Et on voit des exemples d'entraide ici et à travers le monde. The world is in a very dark place right now. Standing up, united, for our values is more important than ever. If we want to win against terrorists, dictators, and bullies, upholding the rule of law must continue to be our rampart. Protecting civilian life must continue to be our rampart. And as you know very well, being there for one another will always be our strongest rampart against hatred. We stand with you, my friends, tonight, tomorrow, and every day. Merci, mes chers amis. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister Trudeau, for your words tonight, your strong words condemning terrorism and reaffirming Israel's right to defend herself. Thank you for your solidarity with the Jewish people and the state of Israel. Please turn your attention to the screen for a message from Sarah Malley, the Director General of Jewish Federations in Canada, and some of our partners in Israel doing incredible work right now. I'm speaking to Aksenia Yakovov. She is a medical secretary in Soroka Hospital in Beersheba and a long-standing member of the community. She is also a member of the Partnership Committee, working closely together with Director General for the Montreal Federation, Arya Levy. אני מודה לקדוש ברוך הוא, הוא יצא בנס. יש כאלה שלא יצליחו לצאת, אבל הבן שלי סיפר דברים מאוד 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 קשים. רוצה להודות בהזדמנות זאת לקבוצה מהממת, חברים מהצד השני, ממונטריאול, על מילים החמות, על החיבוק, על החיזוק. It isn't packed currently. It was packed last night and it will soon be packed. This is the cemetery wherein Herzl was buried. My daughter was at the wedding of her very good friend and her husband three months ago. And today she will see her friend burying the man that she loves. There is no end the pain, there is no end to the torment. I'm speaking to Tira L. Cohen, founder and president of Kedma, that sends service volunteers to the geographical and social periphery of Israel. Her young volunteers were held hostage for many hours in the Gaza envelope, and they are too traumatized to tell their story. And she has agreed to speak with me today. An intrusion like that of terrorists to come into the community and uh, burn the home, that is something that we never thought could happen with the forces of IDF. First of October is when our school year starts. Mm -hmm. So um, a few of, the, of our people were very new to the area. I even felt a little bit ashamed, but it's my programs, my people, we called them to come and live in the Gaza envelope as social activists, as Zionist activists. One student we, from 9 a.m. he sent us uh, whispering, there, there are terrorists in my apartment, there are terrorists here, what should I do, what should I do? And then we lost connection with him totally for about nine hours, uh, around 36 hours from the uh, terror attack, uh, when the terror attack started. We got out. We got the stu our students out of here. 
a woman uh, around the 30, in the 30s, a mother of three who was killed with her, her husband, and the three children, and the grandparent, and the grandmother were all killed. She was a friend, a colleague. She was an amazing woman. And we just uh, spoke a few weeks ago. I can tell about the Muna. She founded with us the Kedma 10 years ago. And uh, she was waiting for, for was waiting for a pregnancy for 10 years. Now she's in her ninth month. month. This very, very special baby, baby girl, baby girl. She was for nine hours in the shelter. And just, uh, she told me I was just thinking about my baby. I just tried to stay calm, not think about anything. The community that got invaded, this is a new, a new level. We, this happened rarely. Uh, during Israel's history. But um, I promised to myself that it's not the end, and um, it's only uh, we lost this battle for sure, because I'm the law, but in the long run, we will win uh, the war, because uh, we have to. We will rebuild stronger communities. Uh, I don't know how, but we'll have to do it together. I very hope that hope the next uh, few days we will become uh, the winners. And we will need the support for the Jewish community around the world and in Canada. I just ask for the support for you, even when the narrative changes. The pain is too intense to bear. Suffering is all over the country. We're a small country. We're a small population. From south to north, I spoke to Metal Novidansky in the Bekel. And through her to Shal Zohar, the co-chair of the Coast to Coast Communities. And this is a small glimpse of what he had to say. This morning, the Hezbollah decided to open a, a fire very close to the border uh, in Hardov. And uh, we hope that uh, we will manage. And actually, I'm sure that we will manage and uh, we will be OK. But more than this, Thanks to your uh, support in everything that you are doing here in the Upper Galilee, we feel that we are not alone. And this is the most important thing. We feel that we have brothers and sisters far away, but close to our heart. Our team in Israel is incredible, and that video only begins to tell the story. Shaul, who we saw at the end of the video in June, sat in this room along with the rest of our partners uh, from our region up north. He was here with us tonight on screen. He was here with us in person just a few short months ago in a very different world. Israelis are facing agonizing decisions. Imagine having to ask yourself, is it safe to go to my friend's funeral? Or so many of my friends were murdered at the peace festival. I can't attend all the funerals. What do I do? Where do I go? And even who says Kaddish when an entire family has been murdered? Israelis are in shock, grieving, and yet, like everybody in this room, they remain resilient. It is now my honor to introduce His Excellency, Israel's ambassador designate to Canada, Ido Moed. Shalom everyone. I'm humbled and honored to stand here before you tonight as ambassador designate. Um, coming here to Canada to fulfill the role of interlocutor of the Shaliach of Israel to Canada, knowing the history of the friendship and the solid um, solidarity between Israel and Canada for so many years. And to witness tonight, after having heard and experienced all these horrific 
uh, events that uh, uh, took place in Israel, that Canada stands so strongly and so closely with Israel also at these very dark times. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for your solid support and for your friendship and for the steadfast expression of the need to eradicate terrorism because this is exactly what we are facing. We're at war. Israel is at war against terrorism. Terrorism that has been um, instigated and perpetrated by Islamists, the Hamas, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, supported by Iran, with only one aim, to eliminate the state of Israel, to wipe it off the face of the earth. Our enemies don't know it, but it's not the first time that it was tried. And we know it doesn't work. We pay a price, but we endure. Because I'm Israel Chai. So, <laughs> when I came here, one of the first things I did was to meet with so many of you on Rosh Hashanah and other occasions because I wanted to share with you the fact that in Israel we feel so strongly about the bond between the Jewish community in Canada and Israel. It's not only solidarity, but it's involvement and it is contribu contributing to the most important issues in society and being there for Israelis in Sderot, which was attacked now, and in Malot, and everywhere around the country. And so tonight, there are so many of you here, again, to express your solidarity, and I'm grateful, and I want to express to you also the great uh, gratitude of Israelis um, for your friendship, for your support, for your solidarity, for your achva, what we call achvat achim, fraternity. Israel uh, Revim and tonight we see that. Uh, we feel that throughout the years, but uh, throughout the year, but tonight much more than ever. In this turning point, in turning point in the history of Israel, because what happened in the past will be different from now. Having undergone, having experienced this horrific slaughter, this pogrom, this barbaric act of terrorism will change things for sure for us in Israel, for Jewish communities around the world, because as I said earlier, this is not just a local problem, it's a problem that we face in the region and beyond. And so I'm also grateful for the actions that the Canadian government has taken in the international arena to make sure or to uh, try to make sure that those who contemplate joining this conflict will think twice. That's extremely important and we are grateful for that as well. We're also grateful for the uh, strong support and broad support for also from the opposition. Throughout uh, Canadian society, we have felt in the last few days an outpour of support and solidarity um, that is so heartwarming and gives us a lot of power to continue the struggle and to build together, first of all, rebuild, but also to build a future that will benefit both our countries. So tonight, again, I would say only Netzach Israel lo yishaker. We will persevere and peace will prevail. Toda. Yisrael Chai. Thank you, Ambassador Moed. Jewish Canada and Ottawa's Jewish community stands with you 
and our Israeli brothers and sisters, we are steadfast in our belief that the Jewish homeland, our Jewish homeland, must be defended. If Jews are not safe in Sterot, Kibbutz Beri, in Ashkelon, in Metula, in Tel Aviv, in Jerusalem, then Jews are not safe in Ottawa, in Montreal, Toronto, Cal Calgary, and Halifax. Am Yisrael Chai. Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael Chai. I would now like to call on the senior rabbi from Temple Israel, Rabbi Daniel Michael Berg, to lead us in the prayer for the state of Israel and to recite Psalm 23. Please rise and I invite you to join me. Our words, our intention, our love. It is powerful. Avinu Shabashamaim, Tsur Israel Vagoalo, Barech et Medinat Israel, Reshit Smichat Geula Tenu, Hagena Leha Bevrat Chasdecha, Ufrosa Lecha Sukat Shlomecha, Ushlach Orcha Vamitchal Roshecha, Tsareha Vayot Seha, Betaknem Baetha Tova Milfanecha. Chazek yade migne eretz kodshenu, vachan chilem yeshua vachayim, venatata shalom baaretz, vesimchat olam leyoshveha. Amen. O Heavenly One, our protector and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love, spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who defend our holy land. Grant them deliverance and adorn them in a mantle of victory. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. And we say, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. It is traditional that we seek comfort from the words of psalms. They remind us that we are never alone as we seek comfort in God's embrace. Psalm 23. Mizmor le David Adonai roi lo echsar binot deshe yabitseni almei menuchot yancheleni nafshi yoshevev yancheni b'maglet tzedek l'ma'an shemo gam ki elech b'geit salmavet lo ira Ki ata imadi, shiftacha umishantecha, hema yenachamuni. Shiftacha umishantecha, hema yenachamuni. Taroch lefanai shulchan neged sorarai, deshanta beshemen roshi kosi revaya. Ach tov vechesed yerdufuni kol yame chayai, beshifte beveit adonai, leorech yamim. With God as my shepherd, I shall not want. The Eternal makes me lie down in green pastures, leads me beside the still waters, restores my soul, guides me in straight paths for the sake of God's name. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the eternal forever. Thank you. Rabbi, thank you as always for standing up for Israel and thank you for uh, going downstairs to speak to the hundreds who are gathered in the gym who are having a little trouble hearing. At this difficult moment in time, a measure of solace and comfort is found in the fact that the Jewish community does not stand alone. It is now my absolute honor to invite the official leader of the opposition, Mr. Pierre Polyev, to offer remarks. Shalom. It is with a combination of heartbreak and outrage that I join with all of you here today. Heartbreak for the innocent mothers, babies, grandparents, party goers, peace activists who suddenly and inexplicably lost their lives at the hands of an unprecedented terrorist attack and outrage at the attackers. And so, in starting my remarks tonight, let me be explicitly clear. Hamas is not a militant organization. It is not an activist organization. It is surely not a government. It is a sadistic, demonic, genocidal, terrorist death cult. And it must be defeated and destroyed. The incredible carnage that this terrorist death cult has unleashed in the last 72 hours would be bad enough were it not for the apparent pleasure and sadistic pride with which it was carried out. And so I say to those who might not perhaps have strong opinions about the Middle East, what kind of organization would carry out such hideous violence against such obviously innocent people and do it in the most cruel and odious manner and then willingly publicize it for all the world to see. This is evil in its purest form and that evil must be defeated. <laughs> Hamas does not speak for the Palestinian people, it does not speak for Muslims and it surely does not speak for Canadians. And that is why I unreservedly condemn any and all who took part in the disgusting celebrations that we have seen on our streets the last several days. It is now for Canada to stand with Israelis as they carry out their right and obligation to defend themselves, to provide any support we can and intelligence and in any other way, to ensure there is high quality consular services for every Canadian citizen who may be stranded or in need of any assistance whatsoever. And I know that members of Parliament for all parties will be united in that purpose. Uh, Prime Minister. <laughs> Prime Minister, MPP McLeod, MP Aria, 
Mr. Mayor, I know we will all be working together to frantically bring assistance to any of our Jewish brothers and sisters or people of any other faith who may for any reason be in distress in the Middle East at this time. And I encourage everyone here to donate generously to the beautiful charities who are helping to come to the rescue, charities like Magan David Adam and countless others. Let us all be generous with them in this time. And Canada must call for an investigation into how this attack was so well coordinated. It is clear to me that the regime in Iran has been the greatest act And that includes criminalizing the IRGC so that they can never use this as a safe operating ground in which to do their horrible work. I want to thank the rabbi for his beautiful psalm, Psalm 23, one of my favorite. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me, O Lord. It is hard, almost impossible, to have any sense of hope in a time like this. But I, I do have hope, for the, not just for the people in this room and for the Jewish people across our country, but for the Jewish state of Israel. Because Am Yisrael Hai. The Jewish people are the only people who live as the same people on the same land, worshiping the same faith in the same language as 3,000 years ago. There have been monsters of all shapes and sizes and types who have attempted to destroy the Jewish people, but they have never succeeded the Israeli people are eternal in the defense of their homeland, of their faith, and their culture. One of my greatest memories was taking Shabbat with a rabbi from London, Ontario, who had made Aliyah and gone to Israel, and his seven kids sitting there singing the same beautiful songs that would have been sung on that same land three millennia earlier. That is a story of survival. And so I pledge the continuing friendship of His Majesty's loyal opposition, of the Parliament of Canada, indeed of all Canadians. We stand with you in these horrific times. Our bond of friendship is strong, and our faith in the future is complete. So may you keep that faith and stand strong and hold true as you always have. Um, Yisrael, hi. Thank you. Mishabeira <laughs> הקדוש ברוך הוא ישמור ויציל את חיילינו מכל צרה וצוקה ומכל נגע ומחלה וישלח ברכה והצלחה בכל מעשה ידיהם ידבר שונאינו תחתיהם ויתרם בחטר ישוע ובעטרת ניצחון ויקוים בהם הכתוב כי אדוני אלוהיכם ההולך עמכם להילחם לכם עם אויביכם להושיע אתכם ונאמר Amen. He who blessed our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, may he bless the fighters of the Israel Defense Force who stand guard over our land and the cities of our God. From the border of the Lebanon to the desert of Egypt, 
and from the great sea unto the approach of the Arava, on land, in the air, and on the sea. May God cause the enemies who ride up against us to be struck down before them. May the Holy One, blessed be he, preserve and rescue our fighting men and women from every trouble and distress, and from every plague and illness, and may he send success, blessing and success in their every endeavor. May he lead our enemies under their sway, and may he grant them salvation and crown them with victory. And may there be fulfilled for them the verse, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you to battle your enemies, for you to save you, and let us say, Amen. Amen. I'm going to be reading Psalm 121. Please, we're going to be doing it responsively, verse by verse. We'll uh, begin with the Hebrew. Shir la maloi se so inaye le harim e ayin ya vo ezri. Ezri me imadainoi oi se shamayim vorets. Ali ten la modraglecha al yanum shamrecha. Hinei lo yonum velo yishon shoymer Israel. Adenoi shoymrecho, adenoi etzilcho al yad yeminecho. Yomam Hashem esh lo yakeka veyareyach balayla. Adeno yishmor chomi kolro yishmor ez nafshecho. Adeno yishmor tseischo uvoyecho meato veadoylam. A song for a sense. I shall raise my eyes to the mountains from where will my help come. My help is from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to falter. Your guardian will not slumber. Behold, the guardian of Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shadow. He is by your right hand. By day the sun will not smite you, nor will the moon at night. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard you going out and your coming in. From, from now and to eternity. Rabbi, our community is blessed. Thank you. And we are grateful to his worship, Ottawa Mayor Mark Sutcliffe, who's here with us this evening and has agreed to say a few words. Bonsoir tout le monde. Good evening, everyone. Shalom. I am, like so many of you, heartbroken. But I'm also so very proud to see so many of you here tonight. So many people who are here to show their support for Israel and for Ottawa's Jewish community. Thank you, each and every one of you, for being here this evening. And I'm grateful to the Prime Minister and to the leader of His Majesty's official opposition for being here tonight as well. It means so much to our city that you're participating in this event this evening. And I'm joined by so many other leaders in our community, members of City Council, MPPs and MPs, great leaders in our community who have served our city so well. Thank you all for being here tonight. Over the past two days, I've been imagining what would happen if the events that took place in Israel this weekend had happened here in Ottawa. Imagine for a moment 
on a Thanksgiving weekend, on a holiday weekend for our Jewish community, that there was a missile attack on our city, striking buildings and residences and killing hundreds of people. Imagine if in the hours that followed, terrorists arrived in our city and began shooting civilians and taking hostages. That is what the people of Israel experienced this weekend on a holiday weekend when Jewish people across Israel and around the world were coming together in celebration. Instead, they were met with acts of unimaginable violence and terrorism. When there is an attack on Israel, it is felt profoundly here in Ottawa. When Israel mourns, Ottawa mourns. Les attaques contre Israël sont profondément senties ici à Ottawa. Many residents of Ottawa have deep connections to the region and some have lost family members and friends in this attack and in previous acts of violence. And I've spoken with some of those people, some of those families over the past few days. And it's, it's heartbreaking to hear their stories. On behalf of the people of Ottawa, I stand with our Jewish community. I offer to you my deepest, deepest sympathies. I join with you in condemning these attacks. I stand in solidarity with you as Israel defends itself. We must ensure that the people of Israel are safe from terrorism. And we must ensure that the people of Ottawa are safe from anti-Semitism as well. The Ottawa Police Service has increased patrols around religious institutions and other Jewish institutions, and especially synagogues. And on this Thanksgiving weekend, I want to say how thankful I am for Ottawa's Jewish community. Thank you for all you have done for our city. Thank you for your leadership, your generosity, your commitment, your many contributions to Ottawa. My thoughts are with all of you here tonight all of you throughout the city, all of those in Israel and beyond who have been hurt by these terrorist acts. There will be more difficult days ahead, including for many residents of Ottawa. We must not let this fight divide us. We must all come together and work together with one voice, as we are doing tonight, and reject these violent acts of terrorism by Hamas. We must all push for an end to this senseless violence against innocent civilian lives. This is tonight such an incredible demonstration of solidarity, of solidarity with Ottawa's Jewish community and with the people of Israel. And as a sign of this city's support, tomorrow night, the Heritage Building at Ottawa City Hall will be illuminated in blue and white. We mourn with you. We grieve with you. We stand with you. And we always, we always will. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Mayor Sutcliffe, thank you. Thank you for your beautiful words and your public words yesterday condemning terror and reaffirming Israel's right to defend herself. Thank you for illuminating the government building which joins the Peace Tower and Niagara Falls which have all been illuminated. I now invite Rabbi Idan Sher from Congregation Machziki Hadass to recite a prayer for those in captivity and Psalm 20.
I'll ask everyone to please rise. You'll notice that we weren't able to find the prayer for captivity online. I think because it's been such a long time that we've needed to say it. Misha Berach Abosenu, Avraham, Mitzchak, Viakov, Yosef, Moshe, Viaharon, David, Shlomo, Imosenu, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Vileya, who you've arech, Vishmar, Vin, Saras, Nedreitz, Vahagan, Ali, Israel, Shivu Yav, Veskola, Henu, Hanesuni, Mitzarov, Shivya, Bavur, Shikol, Hakahal, Hakadosh, Hazem, Spalil, Bavuram, Hakadosh, Baruchu, Yimale, Rahamim, Alehem, Viotie, Mechoshech, Vitzal, Mabes, Umoso se hem ye natek, umimitsu ko se hem yo shiem. Vishive mehira le hek mishpeho se hem. Yo du la donai hasto, viniflo sov with ne adam. Vikuyam bahem me crash a kasu. Uf du ye adonai yeshuvun. Uva ut sion verina. Visimha so lama rosham. Sason visimha yasigu. Venasu yagomba anacha. Venomar amen. May God who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, Aaron, David, Solomon, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, Leah, bless, protect, and guard the members of Israel's defense forces missing in action or held captive, and all of those held captive amongst our brothers and sisters, the whole house of Israel, who are in distress or captivity, as we, the members of this holy community, Pray on their behalf. May the Holy One, blessed be he, have compassion on them and bring them out from darkness and the shadow of death. May he break their bonds, deliver them from their distress, and bring them swiftly back to their family's embrace. Give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for the wonders he does for the children of earth. And may there be fulfilled in them the verse, those redeemed by the Lord will return. They will enter Zion with singing, and everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. And let us say, Amen. Amen. We'll now recite chapter 20 of the Psalms. I'll say it in Hebrew, but please follow along in the English. Lam natse yach mizmar le David, yanacha donai biyom sara, yisage vechashe melohe yakov, yishlach ezecha mi kodesh, umitziyon yisadeka, yiskar komin chaisecha, velasecha yedash nesehla, yiten lecha chilvavecha, vecholat sascha yemale. Niran and Abishua Secha, Uvesheim, Eloheno Nidgal, Yamale Adoina, Komishalo Secha. Ata ya dati, Kihoshi Adonai Meshicha, Yaneu Mishme Kacha, Big Furos Yesha Yemino. E levarech, e levasusim, Vanach no Besheim, Adonai, Eloheno Naskir, Hema Karu Venafalo, Vanach no Kam, no Vani Sodad, Adonai Hoshia, Hamelechiane, no Viam Kareno. Thank you, Rabbi. It's hard to imagine that it's mere months since we, along with 30 other Ottawans, traveled together to Israel and celebrated her 75th anniversary. We even sat in the State Road Community Center, meeting young people in political leadership, people who are now in harm's way, some even murdered or taken hostage. At times like this, we feel hopeless and helpless, and we yearn to turn our emotion into actions. In addition to joining here tonight, here are four concrete ways that we can all help. First, engage on social media. Educate others and participate in efforts to raise awareness of the plight of the captives. We know that right now in Ottawa, a family is in unbearable pain as they frantically await for news of their loved one who was taken hostage. We send the entire extended family our love, our strength, and our support. May they be returned soon, very soon, to the warm embrace of their loving family. Amen. Amen. Let's start taking action right now 
Um, some of you were given signs when you walked in. For others, they're underneath your seat. They're signs that say hashtag bring them home or with the specific name of somebody who is in harm's way now and who's been taken hostage. I encourage you to stand up, to hold up your signs so that we can take pictures. Bring them home. Bring them home. Bring them home. Bring them home. Please be sure to post those pictures on your social media accounts. Raise awareness of the plight of the captives. Secondly, reach out to elected officials. If they have not yet done so, like our political leadership did here tonight, ask them to please make unequivocal stands against terror and support Israel's right to defend herself. Ask them to condemn the glorification of murder and mayhem on the streets of Canada. And if they have already done so, this is really important, please take the time to say thank you. Thank you, because as we know, the coming days and weeks are going to be hard. So thanking our elected officials for their moral clarity becomes even more important. Thirdly, counter hate with acts of loving kindness. Do a mitzvah. Make sure to reach out to your family and friends in Israel and have compassion for others. Remember that we will get through this and we will do so together. The Jewish people are resilient and we are strong. And finally, please consider a gift to Federation's Fund for Victims of Terror. While this is an emerging situation, we know that the number of victims is unprecedented. Between the wounded, the missing, the murdered, already over 3,000 Israeli families and their friends are struggling to cope and they are shattered. As we stand here with Israel in solidarity, our overseas partners are working tirelessly on the ground to care for immediate needs, including medical equipment and direct grants to those affected. In order to support those, support those efforts, please, please consider a gift and we appreciate your generosity. We will conclude with Cantor Jason Green of Kehilat Beth Israel, leading us in a memorial prayer in Kaddish and in Israel's national anthem, Hatikva. Israel. 